Hello internet, hello pinballers. Uh, my name is Brian. I recently got into collecting pinballs and uh, one of the ones I got is this Theater of Magic here behind me. The guy I got it from, he had an Iron Maiden machine that used uh, pin stadium lighting and uh, you know, it was really attractive, really did a lot for the pinball. Um, and this particular machine, in my opinion, doesn't really have that great of lighting. Somebody's actually added some aftermarket mod lighting and uh, you know, it doesn't work very well. It's not that effective. They're still pretty dark. The, the lights themselves are pretty big and they obstruct a lot of kind of the critical play pieces, in my opinion. So I went online to try to find some examples of the Theater of Magic machines with Penn Stadium and I couldn't find them. Like it's in almost every other pinball, but I couldn't find any Theater of Magic. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it and uh, I'll share my experience and hopefully the next person with Theater of Magic that wants to light it up will have this for a reference, right? Okay, before we add the new lights, let's take a look at what it looks like today. It doesn't look quite as blue in real life as it does on the video, so just take that for what it is. Um, if you zoom in here, you can see these little spotlights that someone's added. They're LED spotlights. Um, I don't think they do a very good job of lighting the playfield at all, and in my opinion, they're just very obstructive. So if you're down here at this angle playing, you know, the one on the left totally blocks the Hocus Pocus. There's these little focus focus targets there you want to try to hit to activate that and then the one on the right um you know blocks the poof down there so um you know i'd like to take those out when i add the pin stadium lighting and then you know you can see they also both block these uh there's a little magic wand down there on the play field and underneath the cloud there's a magnet it'll catch a ball and keep drop it on the in lane instead of the out lane and uh you know it's hard to see when that happens with these lightings the way it is so you know i'm going to take those out and add the pin stadium lighting and uh, hopefully it'll make it look better um you can see the rest of this machine looks really good i'm really happy with it um it's got almost every mod you can have you know it's got the curtain lighting in the back and the, the hat the clock uh, the guy's done a good job with it gold spinning tiger it does have a little chip in the trunk i ordered a new one in fact it might be sitting on the front porch right now and then uh, this levitating woman insert's got a little bit of wear but other than that i'm happy with this game just uh, want to light it up and make it look a little bit better so let's let's get it done for those who are curious it comes in a nice sturdy shipping tube like this um, it looks like it could take a real beating so i'm sure they're fine but let's open it up and make sure okay so here's a shot of what came in the kit you'll see here there's the pin stadium lighting strips right here they've got the ribbon already connected to them and then it's already connected to a, a wrapped circuit board uh, the little jumper sockets or whatever those are called are exposed. Um, here's the cables, the jumpers. You're going to connect two of these to the um, GI system or general illumination and then two of them to a flasher that you want to uh, have the, your pin stadiums flash to. And the other end connects into the circuit board there. Uh, this is an outlet uh, converter in case your service plug has a different type of converter. Here's the power cable. Uh, these are just little uh, things to, you know, keep your ribbons out of the way so when you put your play field up, you don't get them pinched. These are jumpers in case the alligator clips aren't the, uh, what you need. You can alligator clip to one side of these and then just stick these in the other. Um, and then uh, this is to clean the sides of your machine before you stick on the magnetic adhesive strips that the lighting sticks to. And uh, you'll see more on that in a second. All right, there you go. Let's get it done. All right, so let's take a look inside the machine here. I got this, uh, I think I got it wired correctly. For the GI, I connected it to this bulb here on the top right back corner there of the uh, play field. And then for the flasher, there's a flasher right up in the middle of the play field, um, but it's kind of hard to get to because it's raised up and that's the one I wanted to connect to. So I just traced the wires back into this little plug right here and uh, use the jumpers and you know stuck these little jumper things in here um or splice jumpers or i'm not even sure what the real name is but uh, anyway they worked out really well use the alligator clips on the other end everything seems nice and sturdy not pulling out so and that's how they recommend doing it so i'm going to go ahead and give that a go and then uh you can see the circuit board back there i got the plugs plugged in there and then the outlet for the power outlet here is in the service plug and i had to use the jumper there because i don't have a normal you know like wall outlet um, there on my system. So uh, there's how it's plugged in. And uh, you know, we'll go ahead and turn the machine on. Yeah, so just to show you a couple of small issues I had with uh, my Theater of Magic and this Penn Stadium. Um, you know, here where the magnet strip, you know, is, when I go to, you know, pull my play field out, you know, it really wants to 
tear that off there. So you gotta be super careful and kind of maybe spread, you know, the blades on your machines a little bit when you're pulling back your, your play field. Um, the other issue is that uh, the way I have this plugged in, you know, I needed to use their adapter and this thing's kind of raised up and uh, this bar hits, hits on the top of that plug a little bit. I gotta kind of move the plug to the side. So um, it recommends, you know, for people like this to have a little extension. And so I'll have to go ahead and get one of those for the theater of magic. Yeah, here's a shot of the plug with the, you know, the play field in the down position. You can see it kind of bonks into that. You know, I can kind of press it, move it to the side a little bit, but it's not in there perfectly straight to do that. So I'll have to go ahead and get that extension that they recommend for this case. All right, so here we are. We've got the pin stadium lights installed. Uh, they're currently turned off. Um, if you look at the bottom left and the bottom right, you'll see the little bunny figures there. There used to be those spotlights behind them uh, that were blocking the hook target on the right and the hocus pocus on the left. Those are now removed, so that's an improvement by itself. Um, and then if you remember, there was another one up there blocking the right loop there to advance the clock. Uh, so you can see much better now. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on these pin stadium lights and you can see the improvement, all right? Three, two, one, bam. How is that for an improvement? Look at all the color popping off the play field. You can see all the way to the very back is just very, very well lit. That was so dark before, especially you know by the hat and the curtain lights back there. Um, you, know, you can clearly see that now. Look at that tiger stands out. Uh, so very beautiful, very loving these lights so far. Um, I'll show you a couple things. So it comes with the app. It's got a little app here, and you can uh, select what color you want. You can turn down brightness and saturation type things. Uh, so here we'll go ahead and give you some samples. Here's some red, look at that cool red. You can switch to like blue or whatever color you want. Um, yeah, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Yellow. Let's see. Um, so that's one thing you can do with the app. The other thing you can do is you see it's got some pre canned functions, so it's got some fades and some flashes and, and color changes that you know will cycle through. That's kind of neat. And then it also has this hopefully you can see it, it's a camera and you can just point to zoom in on something on the play field and take a picture of it, and the lights will match that color. So, really cool for matching your game. I like that feature. Um, I kind of like this this red here, so I'm gonna leave it on red right now, and then I'll give you a little footage of the gameplay, and you can watch these flashes flash. It looks brilliant. Um, it's, remember, the flashes are connected to the trunk. Hopefully you got a chance to see some flashing and give an idea of what it looks like. And, uh, you know, like I said, overall I'm really happy with this machine and these lights. Uh, thank you Penn Stadium for putting these together. I think it's a great improvement for a lot of pinball machines. Um, so if you've got a theater of magic and you're thinking about you know, putting some Penn Stadiums in there, uh, you know, hopefully this video will come in handy for you. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.